said that grace may abound, God forbid. If you're sinning, you're of the devil, as the Bible said. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Sin is not going to make it in. Preacher, pastor, evangelist, God put you in the place to perfect the saints. Hallelujah. To the work of the ministry for the edifying of the body of Christ. And listen, this is what he put you there for. Hallelujah. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. I want you to know, praise the Lord, that there is many that's supposed to be the church of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, that's not in unity. This one over here is doing something over there. Another one's doing something else. They're not in unity. The Bible says that we should walk by the same rule. That we should find the same thing. Hallelujah. I want to turn to the book of 1 Corinthians. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 1 and 10. And listen what Paul said. I beseech you therefore, brethren, He's not talking about this religious world. He's not talking about sinners. He's talking to the brethren, praise the Lord. The church, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the name of our Lord, Jesus Christ, that you all, every one of you, yes. speak the same thing. Amen. Hallelujah. You know you're not speaking the same thing. You know you're not doing the same thing. You know you're not living the same way. Hallelujah. That you all speak the same thing and that there be no division among you but that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Yep. Listen to me. God told in the book of Ephesians Paul said those offices that God gave was for the perfecting of the saints, yes. for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come in the unity of the faith. You know what? There's not much unity anymore mm -hmm. in the church. And I'm going to charge you tonight, Pastor, you better be trying to get the church back in unity. Praise the Lord. You better be trying to get the people, praise the Lord, back in unity. The body of Christ back in unity. That's what God put you in this office for. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man. This is what God put you in there for. Praise the Lord. You have a charge. Yes. You have a responsibility to the people of God, to the saints of God, to preach the truth and preach the word. God, praise the Lord. I, I'm, I want to turn to the book of Hebrews, and, and I'm going to say this, and I'm going to stop. Praise the Lord. Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and a discerner of the thoughts and tents of our heart. Praise the Lord. That's not the scripture I want to I'm going to get it here. Hebrews. Hallelujah. Hebrews 13 and 17. Obey them that have the rule over you. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Samuel told Saul, burn offerings and sacrifice is great delight, but God obey is better than sacrifice. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Obey them that have a rule over you and submit yourselves for they watch for your souls 
as they that may do uh, and must give an account that they may do it with joy and not with grief for that is unprofitable for you. I want to go back that they may give an account. Pastor, you're going to give an account for every soul. Praise the Lord. You better bring the saints, the church, the body back in unity. Praise the Lord. Amen. You have a charge on you. Hallelujah. May God bless you.